Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. Earlier in Vlogmas, you saw us attempt a drink that we love, but we've never made. Right. Eggnog. Right. Sherry, a little bit of a mixed result. A little bit of a mix, yep. However, when we were talking about making eggnog, Lisa, one of our viewers, reached out to us and said we should try Puerto Rican eggnog, better known as Coquito. Mm -hmm. Neither of us have ever even tried this. Nope. Um, looking through the ingredients, to me it looks amazing. It looks coconut heavy, Yeah. which you are not a fan of. Don't really like coconut. But today we're going to try to make it. This is Puerto Rican eggnog, <laughs> mm -hmm. and honestly, I'm excited about it. It looks good. Now, Sherry, yeah. in preparation for Puerto Rican eggnog, mm -hmm. I am wearing my banana pajama pants <laughs> because I'm assuming they have bananas in Puerto Rico. Sure. Also, some of you may not know this, Puerto Rico plays an important role in our YouTube journey. Mm. The very first YouTube video I ever uploaded yeah. was from Puerto Rico. Yeah. It was, a, it was from my Blackberry phone. A silent video with his Blackberry. <laughs> Just like scanning. <laughs> Off of the balcony of the hotel I was staying at, the El Conquistador. Nope, El Conquistador. There you go. My Spanish isn't great. Well. I'm gonna be really honest. <laughs> um, in Puerto Rico. And so I, I loved my time there. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited to try this. Now, one of the things that Lisa said in her email is that every family would have a different version of this recipe. Right. So it's not like there's one traditional coquito recipe. Mm -hmm. uh, so what she sent us is her family's version. This is what they make. Right. Now, I want to say thank you to her because not only did she send us the recipe, you guys, she like target ordered. She sent us all the ingredients as well. What? <laughs> so we didn't have to buy anything. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yep. So Lisa, thank you for making this video possible, sharing a little bit of your family's recipe with us. We did, well, we didn't have to buy this. We already had it on hand. What's that? The spice drum. Oh, we definitely had spice drum on hand. <laughs> and so let's show you guys actually everything else we're gonna need for this uh, recipe. All right, let me walk you through what we have here. We have one can of condensed milk, boom. One can of evaporated milk. One can of coconut milk. Then we have one can, actually it's a bottle of coconut cream. Cream of coconut. Cream of coconut. Mm -hmm. We have one cup of spiced rum. We have an entire bottle actually. Heck yes we do. <laughs> and then a several quart mason jar. What we're actually gonna use is this plastic container back here. And then what we also need is one and a half cups of what is called spiced water. Now, mm -hmm. spiced water is 10 anise stars also. Okay. Can we talk about how weird this is? Star anise. Star anise. But mm -hmm. when I Googled how in the heck to say this, <laughs> it was like, oh, in America, they call it star anise. In like... No, in, in British English, it's star anise. In American English, it's star anise. Except that sounds too much like a body part, so we're going to call it anise because Correct. the other Correct. one is just... It goes bad quickly, you guys. Mm -hmm. And then we need one and a half uh, tablespoons of cloves mm -hmm. and then five cinnamon sticks. cinnamon sticks so there we go that's all the ingredients we're going to need we also have our measuring little things there measuring thing there and then like a strainer right there now the first part of the recipe she sent us is a little bit confusing because we know that we need a cup and a half i'm looking at my beautiful wife over here we know we need a <laughs> cup and a half of the spice water but it doesn't really say how to make the spice water it just tells you what goes in it so in my mind i'm thinking in order to make the spice water we want to combine the ingredients and boil it because boiling it's going to melt the yeah yeah, the spices. It's, it's going to pull the flavors out of the spices into the water. So, <laughs> this may be wrong. Just a couple of white Americans making Puerto Rican eggnog. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't mess this up. So, first thing, Cherry, we're going to do spice water. We need two cups of water. And we just have a, just kind of a little saucepan here on our stove. Perfect. We're just going to turn this on to maybe <laughs> onto high. All right. And now to the water, we are going to add 10 of the star anise, one and a half tablespoons of cloves, and five cinnamon sticks. I actually don't think Sherry wants to use these because she's just opened the bag and she's like, they're look so pretty. pretty. Okay, they they're are. very pretty, but we're not gonna look at them. We're gonna use oh, them no, to make it delicious. So pretty. Okay. All right, how many? Ten of them. One. Two. Okay, I'm not gonna vlog all this. I'll show you when there's ten. And ten. Okay, well, something like that. Good job. <laughs> you guys, you just missed it with Sherry. <laughs> We almost, almost lost died. you. You almost, almost died. died. Okay, uh, those smell like black licorice. They kind of do, yeah. They do, or as I like to call it, Jägermeister. Next in order spice water, we are putting five cinnamon sticks. Okay, perfect. 
And then last, we're putting in one and a half tablespoons of cloves. We are going to let this come up to a boil and just kind of pull some of the flavors out of those ingredients. So let's uh, get the water boiling. Now the recipe says that this is going to take about 20 minutes and that the water will turn like a dark brown. So we are just going to let this do its thing. I will say, uh, I have a feeling this is gonna make the house smell amazing. Yeah. Looks like we're getting to just about a boil. And so once it starts to boil, you're going to turn this down uh, and we're going to simmer it for 15 to 20 minutes. So temperature going down and uh, we'll check back in a little bit. Okay, Sherry, our timer just went off. Yep. 20 minutes. Water has definitely changed color. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon sticks have opened up. Yep, the cloves have like blossomed a little bit. I don't know a better word for that. Um, but can we talk about the smell in here right now? It smells so good. This would be just an amazing have on the stove yeah. to make your house smell awesome. So our next step here is to actually let this cool completely and then we're gonna strain it out. So Sherry, we have kind of a nice advantage. Yep. Because where do we live? Alaska. What is outside in Alaska? Cold. <laughs> so let's go set this outside, let it cool. Just like that. We're gonna let that cool down. <laughs> While that is outside cooling, we are going to open up all of our cans, but first we actually need to do something that's really important because you wouldn't wanna put bad rum Correct. in Coquito. We need to make sure it's okay. And so we have to make sure it's okay. Sherry Beth, mm -hmm. give us uh, your best. Oh, look at that. That's the thumbnail right there. That's a really nice thumbnail. Now I don't remember if I said this earlier. I am normally not a fan of spice rum. Um, I am. This, sure he is. <laughs> this is Old St. Pete rum. Uh, Auburn, Sarah, and Emma bought us a bottle of this, I don't even know. Last year? Last year sometime. And it's the best spice rum I've ever had. And so on one of our trips back there, I think we bought more of it. And it is genuinely unbelievable. It is my favorite spice rum I've ever, ever had. And that is going in the Coquito. Sherry, mm -hmm. we both tried it. Yeah. What do you think? Is it okay? QC. It's acceptable, quality checked. Uh -huh. All right, now we're gonna wait for our spice water to cool down. Okay, our spice water, just checked on it. It is completely cooled. So now we are going to strain that into here. And for our recipe, we are gonna need a cup and a half of this. Okay, there we go. Now we are not gonna to toss the cinnamon, star anise, and cloves. So we're just gonna set those right in there because we are gonna use some of that still. So you can see we have a cup and a half of the spice water, perfect. So now basically all that is left, Sherry, this recipe gets really easy. Combining the rest. Combining the rest. And yeah. so you could put this in a lot of different containers. We're gonna watch Sherry struggle. Good job, muscles. Whoa, dang, hope you had a permit for those guns. And so now we are just going to combine the one can of evaporated milk, the one can of sweetened condensed milk, the one can of unsweetened coconut milk, the bottle of coconut cream, our spice water, and one cup of spiced rum that we did taste and it's okay. It's okay. All right, so now let's combine. These are my kind of recipes where it's just like, I don't know, take a bunch of stuff and dump it in. And obviously some things like sweetened condensed milk that, well, don't come out really well. <laughs> we have a spatula for... Help it along a little bit. Mm-hmm. And there was a little bit left inside. And so you know what? We're going to scrape out the can because, I don't know, I just feel like we should. Might as well. Might as well. Next we have the container of cream of coconut going in there Whoop. yum 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 Splatter. now i will say i'm starting to get a little bit nervous because there's no way those two things are going to fit in there is that a gallon that's definitely not a gallon oh, um gosh. let's hmm let's think you guys this actually it's fairly common this is pretty common for us. Oh, sure. And it's one of the reasons that it's so funny to us that we like actually do cooking videos on our channel because we are so, oh, we suck. we're terrible at this. Yeah. So here's our plan. We don't have a gallon <laughs> container apparently. So here's what we're gonna do. We do have two smaller containers. So we're gonna dump it all in this big pot, stir it up, mix it up, and then we will just pour from that into this. <laughs> you guys, we're professionals. 
Is this the authentic Puerto Rican way, Sherry? Well. We're terrible. All right, so there's all that in there. Now, our spiced rum, and then our spice water. Okay, there we go. And then Sherry's going to stir, 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 stir. As our friend Auburn Human says, it is one of our favorite things. Like every time she says it, like in one of her videos, we just laugh out loud. Um, and it's actually really funny because when she was here, whenever she'd say it in the kitchen, it was just like, it was like hearing a celebrity's catchphrase in person. <laughs> we would always just laugh so hard. Sherry Beth. Okay, I need you to smell this. Okay. Um. What? Smells really good. It smells really good. Now, one of the things about this recipe is that it says to make it, put it in your containers and then put it in the fridge for one week. Well, we don't have a week, but it also says you can drink it immediately. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to test it here in just a minute. Give it a try, see how it is. And then we're also gonna put this in the, we in the week. We're gonna put this in the fridge for a week. And in a future vlog, you are gonna see us test this and see if it gets better with time. So you guys remember that we saved the cinnamon sticks, cloves, and star anise. Sherry Beth, what do we do next? So what the recipe says is to take a couple of cinnamon sticks, mm -hmm. if I can, in each container. Okay and a few of the anise stars as well. All right, and then just like put them in there. Yep, and that's just going to kind of keep those flavors kind of going Yeah. as it sits for that week. Oh, okay. So I think that we can you know what? Yeah. toss the rest of that. Okay, so that will, that will get tossed. And now you guys can see we have cinnamon sticks, star anise in there. And so now, Sherry Beth, I am going to pick that up no. And Phil. No. No, because what are we, gonna do? we need to strain this now. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You are so smart. I know. So I think that we should actually strain it right into there. the container. Love it. And then it'll take any of the little chunkies out. Perfect. Will it take all of my little chunkies out as well? <laughs> because well. Uh, <laughs> holiday cookies have caused some extra little chunkies to form. <laughs> you can see we have this in the sink. Now I'm just gonna pour this in there. It smells really good. It does smell really good. Sherry Beth, is this gonna fit? Nope. Just shy. Well, actually, I have an idea. We could just put the rest of that in a glass. Look at, okay, why? We're morons. There's really, there's like not much left, We thought so for sure it wasn't gonna fit. We're just gonna put the rest of that in a glass. So I do wanna show you, they like roast in the oh, top. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And now this is what we were gonna sample. Okay. Are you ready to give it a try? Are you ready to give it a coquite go? <laughs> no, did that not work? I will say it smells like eggnog. Okay, it is Puerto Rican eggnog. Right. Now there are no eggs in this. Right. And that's one of the things that Lisa said is that some recipes for coquito do call for eggs, kind of like eggnog. There's some eggnog recipes that don't have eggs. Right. So let's see how it is. I want you to give it a try first because I think you are the one that I'm the most concerned about. Because you don't like coconut. I don't like coconut. But let's see. Smells good. Here we go. First try. I will say it definitely looks thicker than the eggnog we try. What? I want you to try it. Do you hate it? I want you to try it. Oh my gosh. It's really good. It's not coconutty. This is so much better than the eggnog we made. It's so good. What? And it is, you can taste that spiced rum in there. You can, but it's not like overwhelming. Oh it's man. Really, really good. I'm excited to try it in a week. It's gonna, it's only gonna get better. Mm -hmm. Now, this recipe did say that you could add like a cup, I think cup and half a fireball. Mm -hmm. um, I actually feel like that would have been too much. I feel like it would have been too much. So it did say you could do fireball or just more of the spiced rum. And so that's what we did, but I'm falling over. It sure, was, just fell over. <laughs> that's really good. It's not coconutty, which I'm actually really surprised at because of the amount of like cream of coconut and what else, coconut that we have in there, like it just. Okay, also, this is room temperature. Once this cools down over some ice, oh my gosh. It's really, really good. This is way better so than So much the, better than the eggnog we made. So much better, and this was so simple. Yeah. Okay, Coquito. And it made our house smell really good because of the spice water. 
Coquito, you have found a way into our hearts. This will be a tradition. Lisa, who sent us this, <laughs> thank, thank you. you so very much. I'm so excited to finish it off. I absolutely want to finish it off. Mm. <laughs> you were skeptical. I was really skeptical, but it, it's really, really good. Friends, I want to know in the comments below, have you ever had Coquito? Um, if you have, maybe your family has a Coquito recipe. Was it similar to this? Was it different than this? Did we do everything right? Did we mess anything up? Here's what I'll say. It doesn't taste like we messed anything up because it's really good. <laughs> If we messed it up, I hope we mess it up again next time because I want it to turn out exactly like this. Correct. Oh my gosh. Friends, we love you guys. Um, thank you so very much for following along as we um, stumbled our way around the kitchen yet again, but ended <laughs> up, but ended up. Ended up fine. With something delicious and boozy. Yeah. Two of my very favorite things. We love you guys. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow on the next Lug Life Vlogmas video. Mm -hmm.